Hi guys, thanks for coming back. It does mean a lot. Now, this vlog is going to be a little bit different. The last couple have been theatre-based vlogs where I've taken you around the venues I've gone to. This isn't one of those. Basically, I volunteer for Hospital Radio Kings Lynn. And me and one of the other girls, Carrie, who goes, have been nominated for a um, Hospital Radio Award. I've been nominated for Best Newcomer and she's been nominated for Best Female Host. So we are going to the award ceremony in Stoke-on-Trent. So I'm about to be picked up and hopefully I'm going to film some bits throughout the next couple of days. Just to kind of show you what goes on. It's a big award ceremony with a meal and a disco and we're going... It's like a road trip with potential prizes at the end. But if we don't win, we don't win. It's just going to be a fun weekend with some friends. So come along and see how we get on. So we're currently about halfway there on the journey. I'm currently in a toilet cubicle. If you're thinking it, yes, right now, I am weeing. Enjoy that image. So we're about halfway there. In the car is me, Carrie, who's a nominee as well, Emily and Dave. I'll let you know what happens when we get there. We're here at the hotel. Come on. So I'm now in the hotel room and a little bit stressed because I now realise now I'm looking for all the stuff I brought with me. I've forgotten the cufflinks for my shirt, so I'm currently planning to use bobby pins or hairpins to hold the sleeves closed. So I'm looking a bit like a div. So hopefully I might find something better than that later. We'll see. We are here at the National Hospital Radio Awards 2019. We've had our swanky meals, we're now having a drink and we're waiting for the actual awards to be dished out. So fingers crossed and we'll see what happens. Working slow, so we're going through the drive through but we don't have a car. Oh, well, look, speaker. Hello? So I'm just going to knock on the window. Should we just walk through? We know what we want. What's the worst they can say? No. Can't see it on Fox Twitter. I'm going to McDonald's. It's a Snapchat, go. Here we are. Travelling to McDonald's. Two wild animals looking for food. <laughs> they see the golden arches in the distance. And they know that food we're going up the dirt pipe. <laughs> <laughs> Not as said as I should say out loud. We're going up the dirt pipe, everybody. Give me your hand, Rose. <laughs> Don't let go, Jack! She lets go! She lets go! My god. Okay. I can see the McDonald's. <laughs> I just think it's a little bit unfair that they won't serve me in the drive through because we don't have a car when they've just locked their front doors but they're clearly open. So now we're walking to McDonald's at like it night is, time. It's quarter to one in the morning. Quarter to one in the morning and I want McDonald's. Burger King, sort yourself out. Nug nugs! So we've just got to McDonald's which advertises that it's 24 hours. But on arrival, it turns out it is 24 hours if you have a car. Again. I think the war for chicken nug nugs might be over. Uber Eats. No, I'm on Uber Eats. Yeah. We're not available at the moment. Please come back later. Okay, we're not having McDonald's. We're going back to the room <laughs> and I'm going to get food from the vending machine and cry. It's like quarter to two. We've just got back from Burger King and McDonald's. Neither of which were open, so I'm now stuck with crisps from the vending machine. I've got to keep my voice down because everyone's asleep basically in this hallway. We 
which I'm now walking down to the far end where our room is with Dave. A little annoyed because I wanted something cooked to eat because I'm quite hungry, but we've got a fry up in the morning, so that should be fun. Right, so I'm now at home. I haven't actually vlogged anything today on the way home. I just didn't really get a chance to, but I'll let you know what's happened. Me and Dave, we got up for breakfast this morning with Emily to find out the restaurant that is adjoined to our hotel hadn't informed the hotel that they needed to tell us that we needed to book a table for breakfast even though we've already paid for our breakfast we had to wait for a table because it's mother's day so it was very busy publicly as well as the hotel breakfasts but the breakfast was really nice i had waffles and bacon and maple syrup as well as just a normal fry up because you know i'm a fatty now obviously last night myself and carrie we didn't win anything i came fourth out of the top 10 in the country for best newcomer and I believe Carrie came 8th out of the top 10 for best female host in the country, which is absolutely brilliant and phenomenal for both of us. So a massive well done to Carrie for just getting to 8th. And to everyone who won, to be honest, the entrants were really strong this year. We heard the top 5 clips for each category. So there was some really strong competition this year. All in all, the whole thing was absolutely brilliant. I just want to thank everyone who I work with on my Thursday night crew, so that's Carrie, Emily, Dave, and I want to thank generally the rest of the Hospital Radio Lim people. So Wayne, our studio manager, Dave, our chairman, who are both also at the award ceremony, but I don't think we're in the video anywhere. Next week, I will be doing the What's in the Box Challenge with me and a mystery guest. At this point, it's a mystery to me just as much as it is you because I don't know who's going to come on yet. It might be Amanda or I might find someone else to do it with me. Don't forget, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Mr. Mandy Pants. I will see you next week. Toodle pip. It's my funny and silly life. I'm Mr. Mandy Pants.